Hi boys and girls, today is a very exciting day because it starts the, the beginning of something new for math. Instead of learning inside a class and taking notes with me, you're going to be watching my videos at home, learning the math, watching the video again and again. You can rewind, pause, uh, copy notes, take down the notes that you're hearing me say, and then come to school and practice those things in person with me. So. I'd like you to get your math notebooks ready, push pause whenever you need to, rewind whenever you need to, watch this video as many times that will make you prepare to come to class knowing this. Today your first lesson is about comparison problems. Comparison problems are word problems that say I have three times as much as somebody else or how much more do I have compared to somebody else. So. Uh, the comparison problem we're going to look at today, for example, is about Evan's dog. Well, Evan's dog weighs seven times as much as Oxana's dog. Together, the dogs weigh 72 pounds. How much does Evan's dog weigh? The word problem like this, the first thing you need to do is pull out the important information. For example, our question, how much does Evan's dog weigh? That's what we're trying to figure out in the end. But right now, we don't know how much Oxana's dog weighs. And the only thing we know about Evan's dog is that it is seven times as much. We have a lot of information to figure out. When you have a lot of information like this to figure out, the best thing to do first, draw a model. I've already drawn that model for you. This is called a bar model. In this bar model, I've got Evan here and Oxana here. Oxana is our in, our unknown. We don't know how much Oxana's dog weighs, but we do know Evan's dog is seven times as big as Oxana's. So it's like seven of Oxana's. So that's why I made seven boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The other piece of information that we know so far from the word problem is that in all, both of these dogs together weigh 72 pounds. First step, after drawing a model, step two, you write an equation. Our equation is the number of boxes we have, that's eight. We have eight of these unknowns. We have eight of Oxana's dog here. 8 times the unknown n equals 72. I know my multiplication facts. If you didn't, you do whatever you have to do in order to solve this multiplication problem. And you find that the unknown n is 9. That's how much Oxana's dog weighs. Oxana's dog weighs 9 pounds. Now that I know that Oxana's dog is 9 pounds, I still am left trying to figure out how big Evan's dog is. So we've got 9 here, and then we'll have 9 across here to make 72. Because remember, our bigger question is, how much does Evan's dog weigh? We need Oxana's dog in order to solve this problem, but the people who wrote this question, they really don't care. They're looking for you to say what Evan's dog is. So, the next step I have to do is figure out Evan's dog. So I take 9 seven times. So I have to do the multiplication problem seven times nine and that will get me Evan's dog. I know my multiplication facts. If not, you can do one of your nine tricks. And seven times nine makes 63. So Evan's dog weighs 63 pounds. Well, sometimes you get another word problem and it asks, how much more does Evan's dog weigh than Oxana's dog? This question, because they say how much more, they're asking us to find what's missing. When we're trying to figure out what part of it is missing, we're doing subtraction. So a comparison problem isn't just multiplication, it can also be addition and subtraction. So we know Evan's dog is 63 pounds. Now we know that Oxana's dog is nine, but we're, our unknown is now how much is in between here? How much more does it take to go from nine to 63? So here's our unknown, our n. In order to solve this problem, after we draw our bar model, same step, the second step, write an equation and solve. So we do 63 
take away 9 and that gets us our unknown how much more Evan's dog weighs 63 take away 9 is 54 so I know that Evan's dog weighs 54 more pounds than Oxana's dog. So boys and girls, as a recap, the notes that you should have in your notebook at this point are that we were doing comparison problems. Step one, you draw a model. Step two, write the equation and find the unknown. And then, in, and then step three, you make sure that you have figured out what the question was really asking. Go back and review what you've done and make sure you actually answer the question. If it's a multiplication, there might be one more step involved. If it's subtraction, then you should be at that answer after the second step. Thank you boys and girls. Remember you can rewind, you can pause, and make sure that you have these notes in your notebook when you come to class tomorrow. That will be how you get your grade. Thank you and have a great day.